Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 3 of MyRix. Probably one of my most favorite episodes of the all three. Well, it's only been three episodes, but I sort of like this one a bit more because I find their rigs a bit more sorted out. I find a bit more organized and I, I like bits and pieces about it, not every single thing about it. You know what? Let's talk more show. Let's do it. All right, now first up we have Matni and his rig. Now, I'm not a fan of purple, to be honest, especially when it comes to lights, but somehow this does actually work with your overall computer setup. But my comments are quite reserved when it comes to the inside of your rig, where all the CPU and stuff, because somehow having a neutral color does look much nicer in this case. Probably you should change your LED lights to maybe white or have a separate LED system for the inside of your rig, or not just put lights at all. Now, Matni is using an NZXT Hue Plus Advanced RGB LED system, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a bit more expensive than the traditional ones. Well, cable management does need a little bit of work, especially at the back of your CPU. Probably a couple of cable ties and Velcro would do the job really, really well. Now, Matney on his table, he's using a Corsair Void Wireless RGB gaming headset, one of my favorite headsets, good stuff. And he's also using a Corsair Vengeance K70 Blue Switch mechanical keyboard. His mouse is a SteelSeries Sensei wireless mouse. I'm not a fan of wireless mouse for gaming, but it, if it does work for you, it's all you, man. Good stuff. Thank you so much for sending in your entry. All right, now up next we have our boy with his computer. Now our boy's picture really does not do his PC specs justice. Now our boy is running an Acer Predator XB281 HK monitor with an i7-6700K processor. Now his graphics card is actually a Zotac GTX 1080 Founders Edition and the coolest part about his computer is that he is cooling his entire computer with a custom CPU and GPU cooling system from EKWP. I'm actually not a fan of his cable management at all. I'll be more than happy to actually swing by his place and probably just help him out a bit with cable management because that is really, really, really messy. He's also a Razer fanboy though. He's using a Razer Death Adder Chroma gaming mouse with a Razer Black Widow Ultimate Chroma mechanical keyboard and a Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma gaming headset and the Razer Firefly. Thank you so much for joining, our boy. You're the man. Finally, we have this rig from Once Once. Now, this rig is at least going to cost you 10,000 bucks minimum or even like 15,000 bucks because if you put the price of the monitor and the rig, it's going to be more than 10,000 bucks. That monitor itself is 6,000 ringgit, but I'm a fan of that monitor. It's been something on my wish list for quite a while, that Asus ROG widescreen. That thing looks like a beast. I'm not a fan of his custom PSU sleeves though, because it's white in color. Um, I know he's trying to go for this whole minimalistic uh, portion, but it doesn't really work right now, especially with those purple lights. And that green wall, is that just baffles me for a while. I'm not too sure why green. Probably he's in the midst of trying to repaint. I hope he does. But cable management wise, I can't actually see any cables dangling and from the looks of it, he is actually an audio file. I can see some equalizers on the bottom right and I can see a Scarlett audio interface right there under his monitor. So he got his audio stuff going. Thank you so much once once for joining. Now, which of these three rigs would you prefer? Do you prefer Matney's rig? Or do you prefer a boy's rig? Or do you prefer this really expensive rig by Once Once? Now, leave your choices in the comment sections below. So that's all I have for this week. Now, do not forget to hit the button subscribe if you like this video, if you like my channel. Your support is really, really much appreciated. Do not forget to leave the comments in the comment section below. And drop me all your pictures or all your rig pictures at mindgamebestgiller at gmail.com because I would be more than happy to feature them do not forget to hit the like button and you know what i'm going to see you again next week thank you